Okay, There's so Sophie and I are here candling our new eggs and we're gonna show you guys, hopefully you can see. Wow, can you guys see the veins? There's a big vein right there. Yeah, and you can even see the chicken moving in there. Hold on, let's see. See those veins? It's really hard to see in the dark. Can you turn it a bit? But that's wow. the spot that has the veins. Wow, yeah. Crazy, and then see that big dark spot there? You can even see the baby. Look, there's the baby. And you can even see it moving a little bit. Look it over. You have to. There's more veins right there. Yeah, do you guys see the veining? These eggs were way better. Wow, here, try this one again. I'm very careful with them. So you can see, see all that dark stuff? Oh, and then there's, there's a baby. Veins. There's veins. And there's lots of veins there. You see the veining? It's just like red lines. We can't lines. see it because it all looks the same on camera. No, you can kind of see it. It's camera so makes things cool. look bad. Want to do another? Yes. What? Look at all that vein. I can't really see it. You can't? So if you can... Wow. You see it? All those veins? These are really good eggs. Uh, this part looks cool. Okay. Tomorrow. What? Let's flip it around and see if there's more. Wow, you guys see it? There's a bunch right there. Can you turn it more into the light so we can see that part? It's really difficult to see. Okay, go to the front again. Okay. Okay, swap. I'm always so afraid that we'll break one. <laughs> Is that see an eyeball? Is that the eyeball? I think you can eyeball. actually see the eyeballs. This one's really easy to that, see. Look at all the veins on that. Do you see them? That one had more. Wow, look on the top though. Look way all right here. Here, yeah, let's flip it around and see. You know sometimes you can see more upside down. I liked it better at the top. These eggs are way better to candle. All right, let's do more. <laughs> Honestly, isn't it the most cool thing? Oh, there's some veins. Oh, what the heck? Turn it on its side. People do it on their side. Yeah, and then flip it around. It's not as good as on its side. Uh oh. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I hate it. The end of April, middle of April, and we have snow. I thought we were going to get away from it, but we did not get away from it. We have snow on the day by day farm at the end of April. One thing I don't like about spring snow is messy and wet and cold. Forgot that door is locked. Anytime it's super windy out, Sam locks that door. And then we have to go all the way around. Walk through the mud. I swear Penny loves to be groomed in her stall. We're getting ready to put blankets on because it's actually cold today and they've had their blankets off for a while. But when I groom her, she literally eats a few bites and then looks at me and I can tell. Like she's just so, she loves it. Gabby said to hit her with a snowball. Why did you bring a snowball into the barn? Why'd you bring a giant snowball into the barn? Um, because I'm gonna the Don't worry, I'll miss. <laughs> Great. Fun times. All right, let's. Don't worry. I wanna feed this to the horse. I only miss or hate the headshots. <laughs> the headshots are an accident, though. I throw the pile Eat on it. it. Eat it. Between dogs and kids and horses, it is chaotic oh, always. Come on, take it. So why are you, oh my gosh, and now there's a snowball on the ground. What are we doing, Sophie? Um, accidentally leaving our horse's stall open. Accidentally leaving our horse's stall open. I feel like we've done this one before. Like, okay, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to take them. Wait. And then act like we got called into the other room. Oh, okay, well. You need to throw hay first, just in case they leave, because we know they're gonna leave. Because this is what they do <laughs> when we open the stall. All right, so we're gonna try this thing. Put the dogs in here, though, so that they're not involved. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Molly. Molly, come, get in here. Everyone hide. Come on, get in here. All right, everybody hide. So this is Sophie's plan. Yeah, that's not hiding. <laughs> this way, this, this is Sophie's, okay. 
Come on, this is Sophie's plan. So she wants to pretend like we left their stalls open by mistake. And then we're gonna spy. Whoa. All right, so Sophie's gonna pretend. Well. Oh, she's looking at him like, what's happening? What should I do? <laughs> she did nothing. She just tried to get into Gracie's stall. Yeah, you can look. All right, that was boring. That was uneventful. Okay, Gabby, you're gonna have to do it now. She waited for you. Yeah, that's so nice. Okay, now you have to say, oh, I forgot what I'm doing and go in the other room. Well, we knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> she came to get you! Yeah, you can do it with Penny so I can film. Go. Good girl. Good girl. See, they just want to well, stay no, with I their girls. To... All right, now Sophie's going to do Penny. Watch, my girl will go right outside. I'm telling you now. Penny. See, she only listens. <laughs> only does good work. Good work, Penny Pickle. She's like, I hate this blanket and the snow. <laughs> I think they're not any happier than us to see the snow. So I would have said that Willow would have come out because she always listens and behaves. And I would have guessed that Gracie did what she did and I would have guessed Penny's right. The only one I wouldn't have guessed was Willow, but she was waiting for Sophia, I feel like. You think that too? And Gracie actually waited for Gabby. Because she heard the door she heard the door slam there yeah probably thought she was getting treats I'm still actually looking for it wouldn't be this bit that we have we have a bit I told you guys in yesterday's video that uh, Sophia's we I want to change the kind of snaffle that Chino's riding in I want to change that kind of snaffle and we have one here and I want to change the size so I'm either going to the tech store today to get him the one I want hopefully if they have it or I'm finding the one that we have here. And it does not look good to find the one that we have here. I think I found what I needed, you guys. I'm like 90% sure and I think it's a good size. All right. This needs a chain and no. Oh, it needs a chain? Mm -hmm. Can you use it without a chain? That one's too small, you think? Most likely. Yeah, and I don't really like the big things on the sides. All right, this is the kind I want, but I don't want this D thing that needs a chain. We tried the pinchy bit, it doesn't listen to me. We tried this one kind before? No, that's a timber wick. Oh, this is a timber wick because it needs the chain. All right, so this is what we're looking for, but without the timber wick part. Okay, we tried the pinchy bit, and what happened? You didn't listen to me, so I took it off. Hmm. It doesn't change the thing. Wow. So uh, the reason that I want to change his bit is because you guys know Chino is always opening his mouth. Ever since we got him, he's opened his mouth and that's like an issue. And he turns his head to the side all the time. And I kept asking everybody that I know, like, why does, what, what's happening? Last year in the spring, I even asked, like, I was sure the bit wasn't the right size. I was sure of it. And then I was reassured and said like, you know, you have to have the two wrinkles. And then I still couldn't, like, I still could not, I still felt like the bit was wrong. I kept feeling like Chino was trying to get away from tongue pressure. I, like I felt it so strong, like it was just pushing on his tongue. And I didn't understand because I'm still learning and all of us are still learning. And I didn't understand why he was having so much tongue pressure and I kept on saying like he needs a bit with tongue relief and we all know that a snaffle is the softest bit and we're riding our horses in a snaffle that has the lozenge in the middle like that it's got three pieces 
instead of one like this it's just got the two pieces because everybody said that it could like hurt them because it has the nutcracker effect what i found out yesterday was that when you have the piece with the lozenge it causes a lot of tongue pressure opposed to this one that doesn't cause a lot of tongue pressure and i found out yesterday that if your bit is not the exact right size for your horse that it can make them turn their heads to one side all the time and here I've been blaming it on Gabby for so long like with her shorter rein on one side and it's probably the bit but as soon as I found out that information it all connected in my head like as soon as I found out that the kind of snaffle we were using can cause excessive tongue pressure then I was like that is what's happening with Chino I saw that like even last year I was but I didn't have any answers on how to fix that. And that's the way God works. And that's how he works in my life all the time is that whenever I have a question or I can't figure something out, I just have to put it out there to God. And then eventually the answer comes back to me. And I literally was just sitting there not even thinking about it yesterday. And I came across this information so randomly and it clicked so much. And so I want to change him in to um, this regular. So apparently this is the softest snaffle you can get this kind of I heard footsteps. <laughs> and and the kind that the... we have is not as soft. What what did you hear, Sophie? Tell me. Um, tell I them. I heard footsteps and then the cockle doodle doer, cockle doodle dude. Yeah. Um, our rooster, and Ernie I rooster. found the perfect size for the little babies. What? what? Look. Perfect size for the Aw, she found a worm for the babies. There's so, also one that was cut in half. Sophie had to go run up and get the wagon, the wheelbarrow, because we were using yesterday to move bricks. And she's always hyper aware of sounds when she's up there by herself. And she heard the pitter patter of little rooster feet. And then a no, oh, people feet. People feet. There were people chasing you on our farm. No, I heard feet walking. Oh, were they your feet? No, I was standing still. Uh huh. It's so cold outside today, and that we finally just got warm in the car, and we're headed into the tax store. This year I want to find a really nice fly mask for our horses and I want cute ones like blankets and fly masks in Canada. None of them are beautiful. This, this is the section. This is the bit that we use on all of our horses. No, we use this on all of our horses. Just yeah. D-ring. This is the bit we use on all of our horses. This is the one but, you know had. Yeah, but we want something else. Do you see it? Yeah, that's what we want. All right, that's what we want. Right there. What size? But we want a D-ring or a fixed. Oh, that would maybe fit. We like the D-ring because this, I find, pinches. Oh. Look and see if you can find a D-ring. Look and see if you can find a... Oh, that is never a good sound. Yeah. What? That's metal. Not this one. We tried that one. Yeah. I like just using snaffles. That's a huge one. What if he likes this kind of bit? Straight bar. And then they have this, which is okay, the so sensitive is, bit. Oh, a straight bar. It's hard. It's a straight bar. Yeah. But they say it's a sensitive bit and that horses like it. I love looking at everything. Look at that bag. That's so cool. Yes. Yeah. It's all mesh and I love that because then all the dirt falls through. I like this. I love that one. You can go back to the car if you want, Cubby. I love that one too. I love bags. And they have a lot, a color of, a lot of new brushes. Since we're at the tax store, I'm getting shavings. I'm making the girls do it today. I always do it. I'm making them do it today because I want to show you guys the bit. This is the bit that we got. Just a regular old D-ring snaffle. I like the D-ring because it's fixed and I find the O-rings, like sometimes they pinch some horses and if any horse is ever going to complain about it pinching, it's going to be Chino because he is such a drama king. And I bought it a tiny bit bigger than the bit that we had because I was telling you guys the way we've been taught to tell if a bit fits is if it ha if you they have like the two wrinkles and Chino does have that. But there's always been... I've always felt like the bit hasn't been the perfect fit for him. And so yesterday what I found out is that horses with a bit that's a little bit too small will turn their head. And you guys know Chino has been doing that for so long. And actually he started to really do that when we started trying to change all the bits. Like I said, he's ridden in a snaffle. He's been riding in a snaffle. Um, but it is... The one with the three pieces. So we're going to try this two-piece one, which apparently is even softer than the three-piece one and doesn't flatten on their tongue and cause pressure on their tongue. So this is the one we're getting. 
this is the one we got and we're gonna try it and we'll actually we're gonna keep it on him even if she didn't like it so it's cold enough today that we're gonna blanket all of our horses again and then take them off tomorrow when we're here just because it's wet and cold and that's not my favorite combination for horses all right operation blanket on in the field is working it is freezing and wet outside chino Shirt on, and a white sweater, and a black sweater, and a coat. So the weird thing that the girls figured out today was that they're wearing same color pants and they have shirts from the same store. No, it's the same designer shirt, just mine's a different color with different... And mine's drawing, bigger so and a little bit wet, so I helped to know. Yeah, so anyways, we are gonna ride Chino and get him all groomed up and figured out, and then we're gonna go home. We're probably not gonna video our ride. She's just warm, or she's just working him out and getting him ready for show season. Flatting. Flatting. Oh man, it has been a disaster of a day, you guys. A disaster of a day. Why has it been a disaster of a day, Sophie? Because the power is out now, so I'm watching downloaded movies and making slime. Yeah, so our power went out. Which might not seem like a big deal, unless you have hatching eggs in your incubator, a dragon that needs heat, and baby chicks that are freezing to death. Like I can't even believe that the power went out. Snow in at the end of April, power going out, freezing cold, just like a disaster you guys. But you know what the good news is when you have a disaster of a day? The good news is that when you wake up tomorrow, you get to try again. Every day is a new try. So anytime you're having a super bad day, like I actually feel kind of grouchy today. Like I feel frustrated. It feels like everything is just going wrong. And that's because everything is just going wrong. Everything is just going wrong. And when that happens, you just have to stand back and remember that tomorrow is a brand new day and you get to try again. And very rarely does it ever be a bad day two days in a row. Before we end today's video, I wanted to show you guys our freezing cold chicks who are huddling together for warmth. And also that we put this thing in here. We bought it for... I forget what we bought it for. We bought it for some bunnies. animals. Bunnies, probably. Yeah, and we put it in there, and the chickens climb all over it. They run through it. They think it's a toy. They were, all in that this they were all in it this morning. Yeah, and the, even the tiniest little baby chicken. Where is she? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Where is she? He. he. It's, a, it's a boy. We sexed our chickens perfectly today. We figured out how to do it so well. But anyways, just wait. Look. Look at this little one right here. Do you see it? It's the gray one, and it's got a little blonde one with its wing over top of him, keeping him warm. Like, that is adorable. Oh, he woke up. Anyways, I can't even find that little teeny tiny one. He is buried under there somewhere. Um, anyways, he even climbs up there and sits up there, and it's really cute to watch. The power is supposed to go on at 6.30 p.m., and that'll have left us like two and a half hours without power. So hopefully no damage is done. I've taken our incubator places before, like when we went camping and stuff, I've taken our incubator and that little bit of time in the car with no power hasn't made a difference. So let's pray that everything turns out okay. But anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?